Right, real wares connect event just finished. It was a two day online event and just want to share with you my key takeaways. Now for transparency straight up front, I have no commercial engagement with Realware. I've been following them with many years since I was back in Intel and we had the, the whole recon uh, augmented reality headsets. I'm a fan of augmented reality. It's a technology that I follow in the, the energy industry. So they were having a, a two day free online conference and it was a full conference. They had keynotes all day yesterday. They had breakout sessions today with various companies. Now, I did not get to every session. I only had a few, like it like a real event. So I apologize up front to all the companies I didn't see their presentation. So I've just picked some examples of the stuff I've seen. Straight away from the off, what was, I suppose, my, what I hadn't thought of, uh, it was Sanjay, the president of Real Car, called it out in the, the opening keynote. Remote work is the new normal. And this was a theme throughout the day and throughout the two days. We heard from Realware, from many other different companies. And, you know, they were on about the, the, there was a couple of quotes that popped out. The smartest person in the room is the only person in the room. You can't be flying people around the world or waiting for the, 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 the Uber guru technician to turn up and fix something, whether it's a he or a she. They just can't get there. So you have to be able to transfer the knowledge to the guy who's in the room or the, the woman who's in the room. And the same thing, uh, I think it was Sanjay called out yesterday morning, he's hearing of customers who are proactively sending out uh, headsets, their the real world headsets to their customers so that if something does go wrong, the guy can put it on and somebody back in the, in the, the, the HQ can transfer the knowledge and help them debug whatever's going on. That's different. Um, there was a lot of sessions throughout the day. So whether you were a beginner for uh, AR or you were a deep dive, uh, some of the sessions that they covered everything. And this morning, the first session was with Microsoft and Microsoft Teams. So it was interesting to see this kind of technology being integrated into a platform like Microsoft Teams for collaboration. Uh, also, uh, AMA Expert Eye, you know, again, they ran about sharing knowledge because the only uh, you can't get all the people back into the room anymore uh, you can't you just physically can't so again how do you share the knowledge so again that theme of remote working is kind of the new normal now i'd be fairly used to or i claim i'm fairly used to the energy the use cases in the energy industry one that popped up was the using headsets augmented reality headsets with an external thermal camera to be able to check people's temperatures. Are a lot of new people using this kind of technology in hospitals uh, for responding to the, to, to the current crisis um, so they can consult with a remote consultant and whatever. So again, um, hadn't thought about these, but impressive. Now, as I said, whether you're a beginner or you're a, an expert, there was everything something in there over the days. Um, over it from Italy had a, a very good video showing how people are using this in the real world and in bad weather conditions, even with voice controls. That was pretty cool. And um, the guys at HeadApp had a, a, a good presentation this afternoon and they went through all kind of the, if you like, all the different types of workflows. Um, I think what was the, the comment they had was, um, uh, to, to manage any kind of uh, field workflow. And, and seriously, that's what, you can, that's what you can start thinking about. Now, I don't spend all my time watching this world. Uh, so uh, when UBI, uh, UBMAX were speaking about their new software packages and how you don't have to employ third-party consultants to create your workflows anymore for you. You can do it yourself. Uh, bad for the external consultants, but you know it's making it easier. Because... In, in, when I've seen in the oil and gas industry, and again, there were some good examples from uh, Ital Gas and over it. And when you look at Realware and they call out their ecosystem, you know, a lot of the companies that I work with know or whatever. Augmented reality ha certainly has traction within the oil and gas industry. But it was the, uh, the CEO of Ethere, you know, had a good dose of reality that this stuff is still hard. And up to now, a lot of projects have failed. And, and he was going through why. So they have this whole journey map is that if you're thinking about this, well, this is, you know, there's a lot of people in the industry that have experience. I think it was John Arnold, a friend of mine said years ago, you know, a lot of AR companies come and go, mostly go. Um, but 
hold that thought. So they had their whole um, journey map. Uh, they also called out their maturity model. I downloaded that later. Again, that's well worth a look at in terms of the gory details of how you go from concept to actually putting it in deployment. Because people have put this technology in deployment, right? It's not that it's still proof of concept stuff. So my, my takeaways after whatever, about I think nine hours attending the event. I think I've underestimated the, the role of augmented reality in, in the new normal when we come out the other side. Remote work is the new normal. The smartest person in the room might be the only person in the room for a long time. So how do you transfer the knowledge to them? You can't just wait for the, as I say, the Uber guru to turn up. AR is still hard. Um, it's not it, it, it's not that, you know, in 10 minutes you're up and running and you deploy to 500,000 workers. It's not, but there's a lot of proven knowledge out there and a lot of, there's been a lot of mistakes made and the, the people have learned from them. So the, the, the industry has that knowledge. And I think it was uh, Mark Turgood yesterday as well brought up the following this crisis. You know, I used to be in pre-sales, I think like the world he's in. And you'd be trying to get all the right people into a room for a meeting to show them something or whatever. And it would take, you know, we'd have the meeting in nine months because we can't get everyone in the room at the, the right time. Will we ever go back to that? Because, well, with remote working now, well, why don't we just have the meeting next week if you, if you can find time? But it doesn't mean that we all have to fly to the same place and we all have to be in the physical location. And God knows there's enough technology now, including with augmented reality, um, to have a whole different experience. So again, food for thought, augmented, augmented reality's role in the new normal. I think I'm under calling it. What do you think? Anyway, thanks to Realware for putting on a, a pretty good event. Um, and all the partners, the, the technology worked. It was a good experience. I learned a lot, so thanks. Oh, and I forgot to add, normally at this time after an event, I'd be rushing off to the airport. Don't have to do that today. I'm just going to go downstairs and get a cup of tea. <laughs>